Nathan, check this out. Look at this day. I mean, isn't this a gorgeous day? I love the Rocky Mountains. We have everything here that we need. We have mountains, we have fresh snow, and we have a 2013 Jeep Wrangler. And we've, of course, reviewed this Wrangler off-road. We have reviewed it on-road. So what is there left to do? Oh, I think we could frolic in the snow, have a good time, and show what this thing can do in the deep stuff. Coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. Dude, I can't believe it, man. Fresh tracks. Fresh snow. Isn't that wonderful? Virgin powder. All right, dude, can you do a donut? How hard is it to do a donut? <laughs> Please, let me at it. You know what? I don't think you're gonna have to plow this parking lot after you're done with it. They weren't quite donuts, they were like capital D's. <laughs> <laughs> so is that fun? Oh my god, it's so much fun. You know, it's when you have a car that you can have stupid fun in, that's a good car. Alright, dude, I have one request. I mean look look at this. This is oh, it is Colorado. It is the middle of February. And look at this. We are in like 55, 60 degrees out here. Yeah, yeah, despite the snow, it's nice and warm and toasty. That's what makes Colorado so good to ski in. All right, I have a challenge for you because in this kind of weather, there's only one way to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's go top next. Exactly. How long can it take you to take those freedom tops off? Oh, boy, just these two, right? Yeah, just the two. Mm, okay, let's find out. Can you do it under a minute? Uh, uh, Zero to a minute. Can you uh, take the freedom tops off? Ooh, let's find we'll out. Find out. <laughs> All right, Nathan, your challenge that you have chosen to accept is to take the Freedom Tops off in under a minute. Just the two front, right? Yeah, not the back. That takes a lot longer. <laughs> yeah, it does. There's like eight latches holding up these two. So right here is the iPhone stopwatch. How many latches do you have? There's eight latches. Hey, hey, what do I get if I win? Uh, C you get cigar. No, you, you, cigar. Get, you get to drive it back. Okay. It's a pristine day, dude. I want to drive today. All I right, yeah. you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, start, go. Click, 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 click. All right, he's got eight latches and 50 seconds to do it. We'll see how much freedom there really is in the freedom top. It should just be a latch, dude. Shouldn't be any screwing. The screwing ones are taking forever. You're not gonna make it, Nathan. I'm a, You're not gonna make it. You got 10 seconds. It took see? you half a second just to. It took you half a minute just. Well, let's see how far I go past it. All right. You know what? I'll speed this up because it's gonna take a while. Although I'll keep the clock going. Two. All right, there you go, Nathan. How long do you think that took? Two minutes. Very good, just two minutes. So that's still pretty good, two minutes to take off. Uh, you know, it's not as fast as a convertible, but for a Jeep. Well, and, and so screw on tidbits, which by the way, a lot of guys don't use those like later. That's not a good idea because water will leak in. All right, let's take it for a ride, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Nathan, can you believe this? A beautiful Colorado day, fresh snow ahead of us, and well, a Jeep Wrangler. How does it drive in the snow? Tell me. It drives great in the snow. Here's the thing, there are a lot of vehicles out there that have the same type of traction and can do just as well in the snow with one major exception. Clearance, ground clearance. The ground clearance on this is ridiculous and it's no problem in over a foot of snow. 
And you know what? What's amazing is that we basically don't have snow tires on this. These are the stock tires that came with the car, and yet this is just, well, eating it up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, these are just whole season tires, basically, built for off-road, not for snow. So, <laughs> no problem. No problem at all. Are you at all worried about getting stuck? You know, no. I really have a sense of security that I really didn't expect to have. I just feel like I could go through anything. You know what's amazing? Today, people get cars for a lot of reasons, more than just transportation, right? They buy them as a personal statement of who they are. They buy them as a social status. And for us today, it's all about having fun because let's face it, this is why we live in Colorado and this is why a lot of people buy the Jeep. Absolutely. Look, folks, I've said it before and I'll say it a million times. If a car can put a smile on your face or a truck, that's a good vehicle, period. You know what, you nailed it. I gave this Jeep in my last review a buy, and it's just because of that huge smile on your face. <laughs> you know what we're missing now, don't you? Do you hear it? Oh, montage! That's right, here comes a musical montage, because how can you not put music to this beautiful day? <laughs> Hey dude, we're back. Are you jealous? <laughs> if you're not, you should be jealous. Yeah. Damn, this is way too much fun. You know, normally we work really hard to make this look easy and fun, but today we're not working hard at all. Not really. We're just filming. We're filming the basics. You know, I hope you guys, Nathan, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> just having fun. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed Jeep Week because this is our last video. We resume our normal schedule as of well tomorrow. And as always, this is Roman and Nathan saying remember to subscribe for a new video every day. And most importantly, thanks for watching. So long, guys. Bye bye. I thought you were going to say Auf Wiedersehen. This is very German. Auf Wiedersehen. Snow, Alps. Adios, amigos. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs>